No word on the cause of a house fire that killed two people last night in Burlington County, New Jersey. As I was news reporter Trang Doe explains, both neighbors and firefighters risked their lives to try to get the family out of the home. A frightening scene captured by Chopper 3 of massive flames engulfing a Burlington County home. Neighbors couldn't believe their eyes. We heard what we thought were car doors closing. So I got up and looked and there was flames shooting good 20 feet high. The fire appeared to have started in a garage attached to the home just before 845 Tuesday night on the 500 block of Willow Boulevard in Browns Mills. When firefighters arrived, they learned several people were trapped inside. William Goodman had just dropped off his friend Kirk at the home minutes before the fire. I ran out. We tried to get to know his mom and dad was in there, and they're real old, so we tried to get in there and save them, but we couldn't. It was too much smoke. Firefighters removed three people from the house, but two of them did not survive. The third was airlifted to Temple Hospital. Though authorities haven't released their identities, Pemberton Fire Chief Craig Augustoni says one was a woman who died at Lord's Deborah Medical Center. Goodman described the family as the longtime grandmother of the neighborhood, her boyfriend, and her son Kirk. I'm going to miss her. Everybody out here was concerned about her, you know. I'm sorry for the family. Very sorry. For their loss. The state fire marshal's office, Burlington County Prosecutor's Office, and Pemberton Township Police are working together to look into the cause of this fire. They had police officers tape off a large portion of this street early this morning to continue the investigation. From Browns Mills, Burlington County, I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.